Hi everyone, in today's YouTube video, I wanna show you how to blur faces or any objects in your videos on YouTube. This is really a huge update because you no longer have to remove your videos if you forgot to blur something like your address, for example. Now you could simply do it within YouTube Studio. And I'm gonna use my other account here because this account has my faces in every single video, so it'd be a lot easier to show you. Jump into your channel here. So I'm on the homepage of my channel. Don't worry about this stuff right here. This is from a plugin called TubeBuddy that shows you all these analytics. I'll link it to the description. It's a free plugin for YouTube that shows you a lot of useful information. But what we wanna focus on is we wanna to go to YouTube Studio. This is still in beta, but let's just go ahead and click it and I'll show you where to go to blur faces and objects in YouTube. Once you get to this page, let's go to the Videos tab. So click the Videos tab on the left side here and choose the video where you want to blur the faces. Now the video could be public or it could be private, it doesn't matter, but you'll need to have it uploaded here in order to blur a face. Let me just go ahead and choose my latest video here. And if you look on the left side, there is an editor option. Go ahead and press editor. And I'm assuming once YouTube Studio gets out of beta, the blur option will be happening within this page. But you see this option, this is your timeline here, and it shows your video, your audio, and here there's a blur timeline here. You see this track? click blur and it's gonna open a different window. It's gonna take you to the old YouTube studio where you're gonna be able to do your blurring. So if that changes, hopefully this is all within the same page and not a different page. But once you're on this page, here's the two different options you have. You could blur faces. This will use auto detection to find out what faces exist in the video, or you could do custom blurring. This will give you a little box that you could put anywhere you want. So if you want to automatically track faces, this is really great, but I'll show you both of these and what each one does. And once you're done, you could either save that existing video or create a new video by pressing this one. Or if you change your mind, you could revert to the original here. So I just paused it or you could put it on mute so you don't hear it. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you custom blurring first. This is the shortest option. I'll press edit here. Again, I'm gonna mute it here. And it says select object in the video you want to blur. So let me just say the TripAdvisor logo, for example. You see it created this box here and I could move this box around. Let me go ahead and pause it here. So now I could go ahead and resize this box. You see just from the size, I could go ahead and press and resize it anywhere I want and it's gonna cover the logo. Right now, it looks like a transparent box, but it is actually gonna blur it once you do apply it. Now, it created this box right here. What you could do with this box, right now it's going from zero seconds to about two minutes, but you see this right here at the end, I could grab and size it to how long I want the blur to be. So again, on the bottom here, I could zoom into my timeline and let's say a minute and a half, that's how long I want this blur to be. I could do that as I watch the video to make sure. And if I change my mind, I could just press X right here to delete it or just press delete. Let me go back to the beginning of the video. Let's say I'll put another box here. I could move it over here this time. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And again, I could go ahead and resize the length of the time or I could even start it later. I could just go ahead and grab this. It's locked right now, so I have to unlock it in order to move it around within my video here. So you could create multiple boxes. I could press again and create a second box. You see the second box here, I can move it again and I could create a third box. And if they're on top of each other, you will just create a couple of different timelines here. And you see they're analyzing right here. Those are those three dots. Once you're done, just go ahead and press done and it would apply those. And you see right here, it says custom blurring applied and you could reconfigure. So if you press reconfigure, it will bring you back here again. And now at this point, you could again save to the video. This will save in place the existing video or save as new. I'm gonna go ahead and press reconfigure and actually delete these right now because I wanna show you the face option. So now when I press done there, you see it's gone. The custom blurring is gone. Now for face blurring, I already did it to this video, so let me jump into a different video to show you how that one works. Again, I'm gonna go to the video tab here, choose one of my videos, go to the editor, and then go to add blur. This is just another video. So now I'm gonna mute this and blur faces. Let me go ahead and press edit. It happened already in the other video, that's why I jumped into a different video to show you, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna do a processing of your entire video and automatically detect faces for you. 
So you don't have to actually worry about detecting faces manually. And this process does take about six minutes here uh, for my video. My video was about five minutes and in this case it took about six minutes to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close and go back to the other video just to show you what happens after the processing is done. So now let me go to edit here and you see that this one the processing is done and you see it detected two faces. It detected my face here and it detected the Statue of Liberty here. That's something I showed on the screen at some point for TripAdvisor app. So if I choose my face, you could see it's from zero to six minutes. Basically the entire video has my face because I stand here the whole time. But this one, it shows you the couple of different times, the timestamp where this face showed up. So that's really nice. So you could jump into that section in the video and check it out. But let me choose my face and show you what happens here. You get that check mark and there is the blur right on my face. Now there's not a lot of custom control here, so I try to usually do this in Adobe Premiere before I get to this point, but this is just a really great safety net. I could just go ahead and press save and it's gonna go ahead and apply it. And just like the custom blurring, you could press reconfigure, jump back in here, take this off if you want, save it again and it'd be gone just like that. Or you could apply it, save the video and it will blur the face. If you have multiple faces, you could choose which one. You could blur multiple, every single person, nobody. Right here, you could select all, for example, and then go ahead and save that way. And this is what the video is gonna look like when it's playing and it's gonna track it. In this case, I don't move around, but if it did move around, it will do its best to track my face. And it's done a good job from my experience in all the videos that I've used this for. But I hope you found this YouTube video useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I post easy to follow tech videos every single day and I hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching.